welcome to Talladega Super Speedway for race number 19, chase race number 4 of the Snickers Cup Series. We have an exciting event on hand today, 19 laps of racing at this incredible restrictor plate track. And I'll tell you what, this is just setting the stage for the season finale at Zanjoltis. It's going to be another restrictor plate track there. So drivers that are still in championship contention may end up wanting to use this as a little bit of a move in towards the Zen Joltis racetrack. On the pole today, we've got John Brace. He clinches himself a spot in next year's Bud Shootout alongside his teammate, John Worry. But before we get to the starting lineup, let's take a look at the drivers that are still in contention mathematically for the championship. Okay, so this is the way that it looks. A tie coming into this race between Adam Chambers and Jared Croches. Pacioli, he's only four points back, so this is mighty close between the top three. James, Columbia, Wilson, Stiller, McCurry, Nate, Lozano, Richards, and Murphy all mathematically still in for the title. But if I were Noel Stiller on down, I'd be looking for an exceptional finish here today to remain in contention for next week's season finale at Zen Joltis. I mean, the pressure's really going to be on guys, especially like Nate, Lozano, Richards, and Murphy, who very easily, with a bad finish, even if they finish outside the top 20, they could end up being out of contention. Now these guys, I don't know if any of them could get in based on the misfortune of others that are lower in the standings that are still in contention. Marsh, McCurry, Nugent, it's possible, but I wouldn't go out on a limb and say that it is mathematically uh, definite. So Jacob Cook obviously is definitely not in contention, but Marsh, Kenny McCurry, Evan Nugent, if they got a win tonight, or today, it could be possible, but I'm not going out on a limb and saying that it is mathematically definite. But we're going to find out because this race is about to get started here today. All right, so there you take a look at those drivers. And as I mentioned, the front row, all Richard Childress racing with John Brace and John Worry. Then you got T.O. Bain there in third alongside of Jacob Cook, who is mathematically out of contention but still is a championship contender. Jack Richards, another championship contender alongside of Jake Berg. Jack Nathan alongside championship contender Anthony McCurry. Then we've got uh, Devin Wilson beside another championship contender and Ray Wilson. Daniel Schwab alongside championship contender Timmy Pacioli. Noel Stiller, he's a championship contender alongside of John Dillon. Cody Poe will line up beside of championship contender Arnold Columbia. Then you got Dougie Shears alongside of championship contender Patrick Murphy. Joshua Currier alongside of Evan Nugent. That's another championship contender. Championship contenders in this row and Vincent Marsh and Adam Chambers. Chambers is actually the points leader coming into this race. Uh... Ralph Green, or I'm sorry, Shane Green will start alongside Matthew Rodriguez. Christian James, another championship contender, starts alongside his teammate, Ryan Acosta. James Bald will start beside of James McLeod, who is very, very close, folks, to being the uh, Season 2 Rookie of the Season here in the Snickers Cup Series. Just needs a few more good finishes. He had an exceptional finish last week at, Tal or at Texas. Then you got Jared Crocious, another championship contender, alongside of Sean Galligan. Kenny McCurry, yet another championship contender, beside of Ziggy Bain. Championship contender Alex Lozano starting at the back here as well, alongside of Trent Whitney. Jake Cole, nice to see him back in this series as he makes it a go or go homer there. He'll start alongside of Robert Van. Nick Eggleston will start beside of Adam Rose, who also made this race as a go or go homer. And then you got Angel D'Souza, Harold Columbia, Felix Harris, and Jonathan Morris, the rest of the field. So, we'll uh, get these cars rolling and run 19 laps and crown ourselves another. Victor here at Talladega Super Speedway. So John Brace will join several others in the Bud Shootout next season. And we are looking forward to that. All that kind of information about who's going to be in the Bud Shootout, who's going to be in what ride next year and all that, will be coming in a special Championship Week edition video, which will be coming out very soon after this event, pretty much setting the stage for Zenjoltis, showing who's still in contention, what the rookie standings look like, uh, pretty much stuff like that, who's going to be in what ride next season, who's in the shootout, uh, who's going to be in the 500 already, who's going to have to qualify their way in, and all that kind of stuff. Just pretty much a whole pre-championship race weekend video, which will cover all three series, the Trust the Mobile one and the Snickers Cup series. Also in that video, we'll be uh, showing some of the new features that are coming the way, coming your way in season three. 
uh, a new, a little bit of a new look, a little bit of a uh, new starting lineup, but this season's not done, and we're underway here at Talladega. Chevy's lined up on the inside, Grace, Bain, and Richards, two hundred teammates right there, one behind the other, the 48 and the 5, as they'll race it off to turn 2 and on to the back straightaway for the first time. It'll be very interesting to see if this track will, as usual, play to the underdog. The driver you would least expect to win a race may end up happening here again at Talladega Super Speedway. We'll find out. If I remember correctly, the last time we were here, it was Daniel Schwab in the 9 who won. I may be incorrect in that. That may have been at Daytona, but I believe that's what it was. As right at the line, they're three wide. Leader was... Jack Nathan by inches over John Brace and T.O. Bain. And now the inside line going to move forward. Daniel Schwab there on that inside line. I believe he did go to victory lane at Talladega. Look at them. They're almost going to go four wide. Oh, that was close. Oh, caution's out. They're wrecking as Schwab leads. Oh, that was a big wreck. That happened back probably around the 16th position. But Noel still is going to challenge for the lead. Down here to the stripe, he has the momentum and the help from Cody Poe and Dougie Shears and still leads under caution. Oh, Anthony McCurry, championship contender. Matthew Rodriguez is involved. Shane Green. James McLeod, the guy who may be the rookie of the season. That could put him in jeopardy. Oh, he and Shane Green get together again. Jake Cole's involved. Alex Lozano, a championship contender. Jared Crush is another championship contender. I see Jacob Cook involved. James Ball, Ryan Acosta, championship contender. Christian James. Championship contender Patrick Murphy. Championship contender Arnold Columbia. John Dillon is in it. Jake Berg also was involved along with championship contenders Vincent Marsh, Ray Wilson, and Evan Nugent. Also championship contender Kenny McCurry. Man, this took a lot of championship contenders out right here. Only championship contenders I can see that actually made it through that wreck are Noel Stiller, Timmy Pacioli, Jack Nathan, Jack Richards, and Adam Chambers. That's it. Those are the only drivers. Here you got four championship contenders, one behind the other, right there. Kenny McCurry, Evan Nugent, Ray Wilson, Vincent Marsh. Undoubtedly, they're all going to come down pit road. Looks like Ray Wilson may not have as much damage as these others, so he will not be coming down pit road, but... Let's follow these championship contenders here before we go and see what involved them in this wreck. We've got a lot of drivers that have already hit pit road, including Jake Cole, Anthony McCurry, Christian James, Matthew Rodriguez, Ryan Acosta, Kenny McCurry. He will get repairs done to his race car. I think Alex Lozano has retired. There's Nugent and Marsh. Nugent has retired. Marsh will make repairs. Patrick Murphy right there just retired. And so, I'll tell you what, this is really taking a big blow already here in the opening stages of this Talladega race involving several championship contenders. Let's look and see what put us under the caution flag for the first time here tonight. Oh, here was the big problem. They went four wide, and right there, John Dillon on Columbia made contact down into Christian James, and then... They're just going to go sliding around, and it's just on from there. Oh, man, Dylan took a hard lick. So did Columbia. Christian James goes sliding. Now, John Dylan and, uh, oh, look at, look at that. John Dylan, Arnold Columbia, they came up, took out cars, and Christian James does the same. Look at all those guys going down that low side. That was a close call for a lot of them there. Adam Rose just got by. Look at Chambers just get by. But there you see Kenny McCurry, Jared Crochus, Vincent Marsh, Alex Lozano, Anthony McCurry, Christian James. That's six championship contenders right there. There's Rodriguez, Bald, Dillon, Green, Nugent, Eggleston. Upside down is Ryan Acosta. Columbia, McLeod, that's Jake Cole, Jacob Cook, Jake Berg. There's Patrick Murphy. Ray Wilson, I think, may have gotten through that. I don't know, but he didn't come for pit road. And wow. Well, let's try, let, let's attempt here to try and sell this all out and show you who's running where here now, but boy, it, it, it could take a little bit of time, I think, to do that. Okay, here's what we've got. We have a total of 27 cars still running on the racetrack. The cars that are listed as out of the race include Evan
Devin Nugent, John Dillon, Jake Berg, Arnold Columbia, Jacob Cook, Anthony McCurry, Christian James, Patrick Murphy, James Ball, Jared Crocious, Matthew Rodriguez, Ryan Acosta, James McLeod, Al Sozano, and Jake Cole. That is one, two, three, four, five, six championship contenders taken out in that wreck. That is big right there. All right, this is the way they line up. These are the 27 drivers remaining as we'll go back to Green Flag Race on lap 7 of 19. Noel Stiller leads the way over Daniel Schwab. At Jordan Hester is in uh, third, and Dougie Shears in fourth. A little bit of irony here. You got Schwab in second. Uh, you've got Cody Poe actually there in third, but that's the ride that Jordan Hester was driving most of the season. And then you got Dougie Shears. If you had Hester still driving that car, you'd have one behind the other, the three contenders for last season's championship in the Snickers Cup Series at the season finale at Homestead Miami Speedway. Just a little bit of irony there. But then you got Joshua Courier doing very well in fifth. Devin Wilson is sixth. John Worry, who started on the outside of the front row, is seventh. Timmy Pacioli is up to eighth. Jack Nathan ninth. And tenth is Jack Richard. Paul Soto, John Grace has slid back to 11th. T.O. Bain is 12th. Robert Van 13th. 14th, Angel D'Souza. And Harold Columbia is up to 15th. 16th is Felix Harris. 17th is Jonathan Morris. Sean Galligan is up in 18th. Ziggy Bain 19th. And Adam Rose runs in 20th. 21st is Adam Chambers. This is big right here that he is still on the racetrack with six championship contenders out of the race. This could really help him with when we get to Zenjoltis. Then we got Trent Whitney, 22nd, Ray Wilson, 23rd, Kenny McCurry is 24th, Nick Eggleston, 25th, Vincent Marsh is 26th, and Shane Green, 27th. Those 27 cars remain. The other 15 have retired from the race, including six of our championship contenders. Green flag back out on lap seven of 19. Let's see if maybe that wreck has taught these guys, hey, let's race a little bit cleaner here and not race as hard until we get to the finish of the race. But, you know, I, I don't think that's really going to happen. We'll see. As the two Toyotas work down low against Noel Stiller, that's Cody Poe, who really has done a great job in that 11 car since taking it over for the injured Jordan Hester. But he's now going to lose out as Dougie Shears, our defending champion from last season, gets help from Devin Wilson to go to the front. Not for long, though. Devin Wilson down to the inside. Oh, I thought I saw a car spinning there. Okay, I guess not. Maybe I was just seeing the pace car. I thought I saw a car go down into the grass area, but I'm just seeing things. I think I saw the pace car, possibly. As Devin Wilson leads the way, here comes John Worry, who actually does not have a victory yet this season in the Snickers Cup Series and has been oh so close several times. Now, John Worry is in the Bud Shootout for next season, so, you know, we'll see him there, but uh, he is not in vic uh, a victory lane uh, person this year. Has not gotten a victory yet in the Snickers Cup Series. There's T.O. Bain moving to the inside line. T.O. Bain, as a matter of fact, is also going to be in the Bud Shootout. And he's now getting challenged by Robert Ban in the 13. Nice to see Ban doing a great job here today. Robert Ban will not be driving that 13 car next season. Instead, he will be driving the number 13 from Jermaine Racing, the one that Casey Mears drives in the Snickers or in the Sprint Cup Series. So it'll be a change from a Dodge to a Ford. We'll see how that change works for Robert. As now, Harold Columbia is going to get a challenge down low. That's coming in the form of Sean Galligan. That's for second as all this happens behind T.O. Bain. Sean Galligan, he's only got two victories in the NSCRA. One came last year in the Mobile Cup Series. It was the season finale race at Homestead. And then he also has an Oreo Truck Series victory, which came a few weeks ago at Indianapolis. Adam Rose now going to challenge down to the inside in the number eight. Last season, if I remember correctly, Adam Rose filled in for Jordan Hester when Hester was injured. But this season, since Adam Rose has his own ride, Cody Poe was the fill-in. And look at Chambers. Look who's coming. Adam Chambers in the 27 going to the front. Now, Chambers, I'll tell you what, he's just taking advantage of this situation, no doubt about it, doing exactly what he needs to do. And look at all who else is coming here. Trent Whitney in the 46. 
who actually will be back in that car next season. Noel Stiller now going to take the lead. He led them down to the restart. Oh, they're four wide back there. And the guy on the outside of that four wide is Adam Chambers. Oh, I'm going to be worried when they get here turn one. If they don't settle that out, they are now... Oh, boy, they just barely got it back to three wide racing. That was close. And the pole sitter, John Brace, back to the front. John Brace leads the way now, back out where he started. Daniel Schwab moves into second. Third now is Joshua Courier in the 22. Laps are winding down here quickly now. We went back under green on lap seven. We're already up to lap 12. Make it lap 13 when they hit the stripe as Daniel Schwab will get underneath of John Brace, but no drafting help. Here it comes in the form of Dougie Shears, and this is the closest up to the front we've seen Timmy Pacioli all day. Another championship contender there in the 92. Schwab, though, I'll tell you what, John Brace is hanging pretty tough there on that high side. Daniel Schwab has not been able to get it underneath him and get by yet. Now he will as they start to line up behind him. Pacioli, Tio Bain, and Devin Wilson. Well, that alliance ended real quick. Timmy Pacioli now going to go to the front, and Pacioli will lead lap 14. Pacioli, Jack Nathan. Seeing a list of drivers here that are still in championship contention. Adam Chambers, Jack Richards. He could get back into championship contention here today with this run that he's getting right now. And Devin Wilson will now go to the front. Wilson, he picked up his first career NSRA victory. I believe it was at Atlanta in the Mobile One Cup Series, but has yet to go to victory lane in the Snickers Cup Series. And here comes Adam Rose back to the inside all of a sudden. He found his way back to the bottom quickly because it didn't take him very long to get back up here to the front. Remember, he and championship uh, champion last season, Dougie Shears, switched off their rides Shears moving to the 83, and Adam Rose moving to the 8 early on this season. And here comes Trent Whitney. I believe this would be the first lap that Trent Whitney has led all year long, if he can get it at the strike. And it looks like he will do so. Trent Whitney, I believe that's his first lap ever led in an, S in an SRA race. That's, that's going to be exciting for Trent, as now... Cody Poe goes back to the front. I can't say enough about how Cody Poe is done in that number 11. It's been absolutely incredible to watch him. Ziggy Bay now coming towards the front, though, in that number 24. One of those drivers who just barely missed out getting into the chase. And he's got Adam Chambers right behind him. And now here comes Bain to the inside. Ziggy Bain to the front. Three laps to go here at Talladega. Good, hard, clean racing since we had our first caution. But they're catching up to slower cars now. Kenny McCurry and Jake Burton, I think, were the two that are catching up. Or Vincent Marsh and Kenny McCurry. Oh, boy. Ziggy Bain gets held up. They're racing double wide ahead of them between Kenny McCurry and Vincent Marsh. Two slower cars. And now look at this. They're racing double wide behind the two slow cars. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you what, if Jack Nathan could get a run, he could go by all these guys on the high side, but I don't think he's going to do that. Here we go. Noel Stiller, Angela Souza. The Souza threads the needle and gets by. Two to go. They're still held up behind there, but the Souza is home free. Threading the needle in the middle. Oh my goodness gracious. And Chambers has gotten by. Could Chambers close in? Chambers came in, co-points leader with Jared Krosius. Krosius has retired from this race, which gives the lead over to Chambers. Now Chambers wants to go to victory lane here as well, but here comes Cody Poe to the inside. It's all closing up again. Noel Stiller's caught up once more. And it's a white flag displayed for D'Souza. It's D'Souza, Cody Poe, Noel Stiller, Adam Chambers, 
and Harold Columbia right now, the top five. These five all by themselves, but could somebody close in here in the closing stages? Daniel Schwab, Sean Galgan, Adam Rose, Joshua Courier, Tim Pacioli, John Murray trying to close in. Here's Noel Stiller to the inside. Into turn three for the final time. Stiller, Columbia, Chambers, that's gonna be the top three coming off turn four. Will Harold Columbia put a move on Noel Stiller here in the trioval? Slower cars ahead, but that won't matter. It's gonna be Noel Stiller going to the front and going to the win here in Talladega. Wow. What a race. Noel Stiller capitalizes on it and did. Yeah, Chambers finished in second. He's going to drive away from everybody in the point standings, no doubt about that. Let's see where Timmy Pacioli finished. Pacioli also was mathematically in contention. He finished in 13th place. How about Ray Wilson? He mathematically was in it. Ray Wilson's going to finish off the day in 23rd. I don't know if that's going to keep him in contention or not. We'll take a look now at Jack Nathan, and then we'll look at uh, Patrick Murphy. Or not Patrick Murphy, Jack Richards. Nathan came home in 18th. Jack Richards finished in 17th. So they still ma may mathematically be in contention, but let's take a look at the finishing order and then come back, settle it all out for how the points look. Heading into the season finale at Zen Jolt, that says Noel Stiller picks up the win. <laughs> No doubt about it, folks, Talladega left its mark on championship hopes for several drivers. Look at this. Adam Chambers going to come in with a 15-point advantage over Timmy Pacioli into Zen Joltis. Noel Stiller, 26 points back, even with that win. Jared Crocious, 35 points back, and Ray Wilson, 40 points back. Jack Richards, Matt Jack Nathan. Those finishes they got, they were top 20, but they weren't enough to get in to championship contention. Look at Christian James. One point just missing being mathematically in it. And then Vincent Marsh, Kenny McCray, Evan Newton, Jacob Cook, that's the rest of it. But we've got five drivers who are going to settle it out next week at Zen Joltis. So hope you'll tune in for the championship week preview show that will be coming out very soon on the NSRA Sports channel. And it'll be showing all sorts of different features and hope that you will also tune in for the season finale at Zen Joltis Race Weekend. You've been watching production at NSRA, numbers with the NCG, MRS.